Once you have a file downloaded from the Download Files dialog box, now it's time to take that downloaded file, which is in gridded binary format, and transform that into something that WeatherTel can read. Now the WeatherTel format is the VTK format, or Visual Toolkit. So to do that, click on the Grib Files tab in the upper left hand part of the Data Transform screen, and now click Add. And when you click Add, it will take you to a uh, location where you can click the file that you just downloaded. So there's a file that I downloaded recently with the download files box. And you click on that file and what that will do is then bring up the information about the file. So the grib file information. Okay. You also have in the middle of the screen all the information about the variables within that file. So you have the two dimensional variables, albedo, categorical snow, so on and so forth. And keep in mind that this is a 12 kilometer nom gridded binary file. And we also have the 3D data, everything from absolute vorticity through temperature, vertical velocity, as well as several derived variables that Data Transform can calculate based on the variables that are already included in the file. So let's start with some basic um, variables that are important to download every single time. It just helps out. So temperature, relative humidity, and then the horizontal winds, U and V winds, and the vertical velocity. So the vertical velocity and the horizontal wind velocities together give us wind magnitude. So now under derived variables, if we want that scalar wind magnitude, we can click on that. If you want dew point temperature, potential temperature, anything like that, you can go ahead and click those. Any variable that you choose that shows up on the right hand side of these boxes here, those are the variables that will be transformed and included in the subsequent VTK file that can then be read into WeatherTel. So on the right hand side of the screen here, you'll see the information on the file that will be generated once you convert from GRIB to VTK. Now keep in mind that a gridded binary file has the main purpose of, being, of having a small file size. So even though that's great for internet reasons and bandwidth issues, when it comes to visualization, you don't want that file to be compressed. So the VTK file type is actually much larger than a gridded binary file type. And to give you an example, over here you see the file size estimate is 521 megabytes. Now the original file was about 25 megabytes. So this is a substantial difference. And obviously if you're worried about hard drive space or if you're worried about just storage, you want to make sure that this file is not as small as possible but of a size that's reasonable. So Data Transform allows you to take these files and to downsample them by some degree between 1 and 5 to make the file sizes more manageable. So since we're using the 12 kilometer NOM data, what we can do is downsample by a factor of 2. Now if you look at this file size, it starts at 521 megabytes, and downsampling by a factor of 2 will actually decrease that to 130 megabytes. Now keep in mind, when you downsample a file, you are decreasing the resolution of that file. So we've gone from 12 kilometers down to 24 kilometer resolution. However, it's also important to remember that the resolution of the data are really only dependent upon what you're going to use the data for. So if we're looking for just a synoptic scale analysis, then 24 kilometer resolution is adequate and that should be okay. Now the downsample feature also includes different sampling procedures. So we can do a point sample, a weighted sample, or an average sample. So once you have your down sample uh, value chosen and you've got all of the variables ready, the next step is just to convert that file into the VTK file. Now there are a few options here. If you want to name the output, so if you want to name the output file something besides the default, and the default is just the original file name, just like over here, with 2D or 3D added in the front to differentiate between the two-dimensional data and the three-dimensional data. So those are he held in separate files so that they can be brought in easier within WeatherTel. So in this case, I'm just going to use the default file name. And once everything is chosen, I hit Convert. And now it's going to ask, where do I want to save these files? So I'm just going to save them to my desktop. I hit Choose. And now Data Transform is converting the GRIB file both the 2D and the 3D variables. And since in this case I'm only looking at 3D variables, it's making that 3D file so that I can now open that up in WeatherTel. Now since these files are quite large, the time it takes to convert these files will depend on 
your CPU and how much memory you have on your system. But generally it shouldn't take too long. So now the file is converted and it's sitting on my desktop. So now I'm ready to open WeatherTel and go ahead and do some visualization.